County Prosecutor Chris Becker handing down the charges today in the death of 17-year-old Riley Doggett. Doggett was hit by a Kent County Sheriff's vehicle on April 8th and then died a month later. He was a passenger in a stolen Land Rover. Now, the juvenile driver of the vehicle is facing charges today. The Kent County Sheriff's deputy who struck Doggett will not be charged. News Channel 3's Carter Landis is live in Wyoming where this happened. And Carter, you spoke with, spoke with attorney Ben Johnson, we know, and with the teen boy's mother. That's right, Andy. I did speak with the mother today. She is horrified that no charges are going to be brought in. Kent County releasing the dash cam footage today of the incident resulting in the death of 17-year-old Riley Doggett. Doggett was the passenger in a stolen SUV. You can see the moment the police vehicle makes contact with Doggett. We stopped the video just before Doggett is hit. Kent County Prosecutor Chris Becker describing the way Doggett's leg was pulled down, tore his shoe off, and slammed his hip and head into the ground. Doggett later died from those injuries. Becker today announcing charges against the juvenile driver, one count fleeing and eluding causing death, and one count conducting a criminal enterprise. However, no charges were filed against the officer, Josiah McMains, who struck Doggett. We obviously disagree with Prosecutor Becker's conclusion that he can't bring charges, but that's his call. Ben Johnson, the attorney representing Doggett's family, says he plans to reach out to Attorney General Dana Nessel to ask her to review the evidence in an attempt to bring charges against McMaines. Riley's mother, Becky Wilbert, says they brought charges against the wrong person. The juvenile driver is not the one who hit my son. The officer hit my son. Becker concluding they could not find any evidence to charge McMaines, whether it be voluntary manslaughter, reckless driving, or a moving violation causing death. Well, based on all this, based on the facts and circumstances, they did not find a basis to, to charge the officer. Becker claiming the vehicle sideswiped Doggett at 22 miles per hour. Johnson disagrees. That's not a sideswipe, especially when you have the front uh, passenger side wheel running up the back of your left leg, taking your shoe off, and leaving a tire print on your left calf. Wilbur worried about the precedent the situation could set. These officers are getting out of control and without charges being pressed, that more officers will think that they can do the same thing and get away with it. And that's not okay. Becker says he wants that juvenile tried as an adult because of the fact that the fleeing and eluding resulted in the death of the 17-year-old Doggett. Live in Wyoming, Carter Landis, News Channel 3.